Good evening everyone. Welcome to my blog or my Facebook live or YouTube upload. Tonight our topic is about creation. Again, I just want to reiterate that the reason I'm doing this live is because I read in Matthew 13 19 I think that Jesus himself says that those who don't understand the doctrines will be taken away by the enemy so for tonight's uh, topic it is by chance or design God the creator it is about creation so let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we ask that you forgive us from our sins. Be merciful to us. Please uh, send the Holy Spirit, Lord, to study. You lead us and get us as we study your word. That your word might convert us, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayers and listening to prayer. Amen. Okay. If you walk in the beach, Let's suppose that you walk in the beach and you saw footsteps. Do you think somebody uh, passed that beach before you did? Or the footsteps just appeared somehow in the beach? Yeah? That's a interesting question, right? If you see the very nice birds and butterflies and insects and fishes and flowers and waterfalls and mountains and nature, do you think there was a creator? Or it just happened so happened that from random things, these things happened to be eh? what do you think if you see a house do you think if you put some timber and nails and some steel and glass and plastic and electricity etc that for millions of years and the run just random luck that house would be like that what do you think my friends do you think the whole universe, the galaxies, the planets, everything here that we have ever seen, do you think that they all came to existence just without a creator? The Bible has the answer. The Bible says, my friends, that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth then God said let there be light this is in Genesis 1 3 to 5 and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness so the evening and the morning were the first day then god said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters and it was so and god called the firmament heaven so the evening and the morning were the second day then god said let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place and let the dry land appear and so it was then God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so. Then God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night. And let there be for signs and seasons and for days and years. And let them bear lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the light on the earth. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. 
so the evening and the morning were the fourth day then god said let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures and let the birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens so the evening and the morning were the fifth day then god said let the earth bring forth living creature according to its kind cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth each according to its kind and it was so then god said let us make man in our own image according to our likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth so god created man in his image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them what is next then god saw that everything he had made and indeed it was very good so the evening and the morning were the sixth day so not only did god create the animals on the sixth day he also created us adam and eve genesis 1 26 god said let us make man in our own image after our likeness so that's how humanity started it was also explained more in first john 1 1 to 3 it says in the beginning was the word capital w and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god so the word of god my friends is very are, is very powerful but that word capital w all things were made by him and without him nothing was made that was made and the word became flesh who is that that's jesus christ that means jesus is the one who created everything and we beheld and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth so it was actually jesus who created everything in the beginning of the mystery which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in god who created all things why don't other people know because it's a mystery all things through jesus christ okay genesis 1 2 said the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters <clears throat> so that is the holy spirit already there also in creation genesis 2 1 2 3 thus the heavens and the earth <clears throat> and the host of them were finished on the seventh day and god rested on the seventh day and on the seventh day god ended his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done then god blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it he rested from all his work which god had created and made <clears throat> so that is the uh, creation story from the bible but is it uh, true that we were created by god just look at the at your at the human eye i have a camera here it's complicated it has a sensor it has 1080 pixels picture elements horizontal vertical and 1920 horizontal picture elements and all of that can capture 30 frames per second 
and send it to the computer and process it and uh, compress it and send it it's very complicated and expensive camera but God created a more powerful camera our eyes very clear it can see there is a center vision and a peripheral vision and it adjusts and we are just trying the camera is just trying to copy what our eyes can do so complicated and do you think this camera just came out uh, of nowhere <laughs> I don't think so Psalm 139 14 says I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made you ask the doctors how complicated the body is how complicated uh, you ask the computer scientists how how difficult it is to copy how the body and the mind works psalm 139 14 says marvelous are your works that my soul knows very well how about this bird many of them fly almost 2000 kilometers in the open ocean how do they know where to go when to go yeah and where what their schedule i don't know but i think god created them and taught them what to do the job 12 7 to 9 says but now ask the beasts and they will teach you and the birds of the air and they will tell you about what or speak to the earth and it will teach you and the fish of the sea will explain to you who among all this does not know that the hand of the Lord hath God hath done this yes God created all of these things so even if the complication of our body the majesty and super complicatedness of our environment and then you look outside the earth the galaxies oh grave it's so amazing how god can create everything you cannot really explain it unless god is god psalm 8 3 and 4 says when i consider your heavens and the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have ordained what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him so you see god created so many things but god still pays attention to us and still loves us amazing we don't understand but really god is love matthew 10 31 do not fear therefore jesus said you are of more value than many sparrows god cares about us my friend what a man amazing god the eyes of psalm 145 15 and 16 says the eyes of all who look all look expectantly to you and you give them their food in due season who feeds the animals who feeds the birds who feeds us who gives everything that is nutrients of the leaves of the trees of the birds of the fish all of these things are from god in due season you open your ha hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing god loves all his creatures consider the water you drink the air you breathe the uh, nutrients from the fruits nuts and vegetables the rain the juice no everything is a blessing the fruits wow grapes very nice the temperature of the sun just exact for us not to freeze and not to burn amazing job 12 10 says in whose hand is the life of every living thing so how do we live how do we live my friend because of god our life depends on god in whose hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind how do we breathe by god's power we breathe that's the only explanation revelation 4 10 and 11 says 
the twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him forever, or who lives forever and ever. Why? And cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Why? Why is God worthy? Because for you created all things and by your will they exist and were created who created us who created the birds who created the mountains everything god that's why god is worthy of worship how do we exist how do the birds stay alive how do the cattle stay alive because it is still god's will that we are existing wow romans 1 20 says his invisible attributes are clearly seen. God is, uh, as God is God. He is invisible. But we see his characteristics being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. Jeremiah thirty two seventeen, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm there is nothing too hard for you. god just made everything so fast and so marvelous we don't even understand you know why because god loves us because god is love that is how we can understand god's creative power don't worry Romans 8, 38 and 39 says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any, any, any other created thing, creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. That is the power of God's love. Because he created us. Jeremiah 31 3 says, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. We might be rich or poor, male or female, beautiful or ugly in our opinion, but God loves us with an everlasting love, according to the Bible. Isaiah 49 15 says, Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, but I will not forget you. Isaiah 49, 15. So God is trying to show us his love by words and messages sent through the prophets but and the angels. But that's not enough because we forget. So Jesus, the, uh, God sent his only begotten son who can be who is our perfect example of character John 14 9 says he who has seen me has seen the father Wow Jesus came to this sinful world and he lived with us he was crucified he gave hope to all of us he corrected us he taught us what are what is going to happen and he suffered in our place john 3 16 says what is the explanation of all of this only love is the explanation for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life so God is God, but he wants to save us so that we will be returned to the original sinless nature, sinless state. He is our creator and he is our redeemer and he is our only hope, my friend. You cannot find any other hope of resurrecting back to life when you die. So be believe in god that is our only hope actually there is no other hope 
there was a little boy who was in a tragic accident and he needed blood his father had the same blood and they put the tube so that the father's blood can be transferred to the son's blood the doctor the father said doctor if you need to take all my blood for my son to live it's okay take all of it but that is actually what happened when our father sent jesus christ for us because of our sins to be the exchange to be to die in our place father jesus said if you need it take it because jesus said your will be done and not my will so let us pray our father in heaven we thank you lord for your love for us we thank you for creating us we thank you for providing everything before even before you created us providing us with food with an environment where we can stay and live providing us with other people who we can be friends with providing us with something to do and when we see lord providing us the plan of salvation so you can so we can be returned to the original state before sin we praise you lord and we submit our lives to lord uh, to you lord we ask that you send the holy spirit to possess us lord throughout our life not to leave us as you have promised so that we can be like you we can emulate your character and share your love with all the world and explain what is happening lord thank you for your creative and redemptive power that where we were yet foolish and sinners you died for us help us to share it to others lord so that more people will benefit from your plans. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.